I love the noise these crispy kittens make. Huh? That's nothing. What do you hear, my theory? Oh! Like they say on TV, explodes on your tongue, not in your bowl. Mine louder. Animal, that's disgusting. Thank you. What are you eating, Fozzie? These are floppy flakes. Floppy flakes? What do they do? Nothing. They don't make noise. They have no taste. They won't make you big and strong. Um, no thanks. When it comes to flops and flakes, I'm an expert. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. Hi, kids. Hi, Nanny. Having a nice breakfast? Yes, Nanny. Wonder what all that stuff is for. What stuff? That old tire, the fake flamingo, the ball, and the crutches. Well, maybe her flamingo sprained his ankle changing a flat tire on his way to play soccer. Bye. Water polo? Hey, I know. Maybe Nanny's taking up flamingo polo. What? Sure. Flamingo polo is a great game. The players ride on flamingos and try to hit a soccer ball through a spare tire. I think you've been hanging around Gonzo too long, Scooter. Um, Nanny? Yes, Kermit? What are you doing? I'm getting ready for my garage sale tomorrow. Garage sale? That's right. Oh. Gosh, that's great! Yeah, a garage sale. Hey, what is a garage sale anyway? Don't be silly. Everyone knows what a garage sale is, Fozzie. I don't. Me neither. Do you know? Not me. Me not know. Oh, well, um, Kermie knows what it is, don't you, Kermie? Uh, no, not really, Piggy. Do you? Well, yeah, of course. Um, it's a, a, a sale where you, um, sell garages. And Nanny is the biggest seller of garages in the whole world. Put your garage in my hands. And, and, and I bet she sells a hundred garages tomorrow. Come on, Piggy. That's not what a garage sale is, and you know it. Yes, it is. Smarty Pants, what's the cuckoo clock in the telephone for? Well, um, those are special gifts for Nanny's most valuable customers. You're just making that all up, Piggy. Come on, you guys. Let's go ask Nanny what a garage sale really is. <laughs> hey, Nanny, we want to know what a garage sale is. Well, kids, I'm collecting all the things I don't need anymore, and tomorrow I'll put them outside, and I'll sell them to people who can use them. Wow! What a wonderful idea, Nanny! Yeah, much better than trying to sell a demo garage. <laughs> I'm going up now to see what we have in the attic. Gosh, why would anyone buy this stuff? Who cares? With the right approach, you can sell anything! <laughs> Weird Gonzo's the name! Smashing prices in my game! At Nanny's garage sale, the prices are so low! How low are they? Huh? Commercials? Well, let's see. 
When people want to sell their product, they go to an ad agency. Mm, what's that? Ad agencies are where people think up the ideas for all the commercials. Come on, guys. Let's make our own ad agency and do commercials for Nanny's sale. Come on. But kids... Uh, oh, my. Okay, you guys. Let's make up those commercials. Is it snack time yet? I'm hungry. This isn't gonna be easy. I got it, I got it. Oh, wait till you hear that. Okay, okay. First, you see a close-up of a nose. A beautiful big blue one. Then, a pencil throwing a little mood music. Perfect. Now, a close-up of a table leg, a bear's ear, a frog's eye, and a piglet's pair of shoes. Then, a voice saying, knick-knack, penny what? give a dog a bone. Well, what do you think? Knocked your socks off, huh? Well, um, it was kind of, kind of, no, not very weird. Thanks. But what was it a commercial for? For? Uh, you mean a commercial is supposed to be for something? Oh, brother. I have an idea, Skeeter. Yeah? What is it, Scooter? Well, I think the first thing we have to do is tell people what a great lady our nanny is. Oh, that sounds good. So, we should start out with a picture of Nanny. And next, a big, strong voice should come in and start talking about her. Our Nanny. She's the best. That's a big, strong voice? Our Nanny has fresh sheets and warm hugs. She's chocolate chip cookies right out of the oven. Huh? She likes to wear metal hats. And, and she uh, has a very special way of looking at things. She can leap tall buildings in a single bound. And, and she loves animals. Hey, wait a minute. What's going on? Animal, cut it out. What? <laughs> Gee, Scooter, I thought Animal was making it pretty good. I hope, I hope. I don't know how anything can help that commercial. Well, how about you, Piggy? Do you have any ideas for commercials? Yes. Don't do them. Huh? That's a dumb idea. Well, what good are commercials without a show for them to interrupt? Piggy. Maybe Piggy's right. What? Why, thank you, Kermie. Why can't we do both? What do you mean? Skeeter can be in charge of the commercials, and Piggy can do the show for the commercials to interrupt. Oh, a show starring moi? What a wonderful idea, Kermie. Oh, I can see it now. It will be something very romantic with lots of love and mushy stuff. Very. And then, at the most important part of the show, you kiss me, Kermie. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Ready, Kermie? Me help, me help. Animal! What's all the yelling about, Piggy? Well, we're trying to get ready for the garage sale tomorrow, Nanny, and Animal keeps interrupting. Me help, Mama, me help. How about helping me, Animal? Okay. You could clean up some of this dusty old stuff with this sudsy sponge. Clean stuff. Oh, Animal. I'm gonna go and see what else I can find for the sale, kids. Okay, Nanny. Hey, I never got to finish my commercial for Nanny. Wanna help me, Fozzie? Sure. Let's go, Scooter.
boyfriend had forgotten her birthday. Her girlfriend had forgotten her name. And Piggy had forgotten where she put her secret stash of cupcakes. All in all, it's been a pretty rotten day. So let's tune in and see what Piggy will do with all her terrible, horrible, yucko problems today. Commercial! What? Folks, has this ever happened to you? Oops! Yay! Whoa! I almost broke my favorite toy! Well, weep no more, my friend. With this amazing offer from Nanny Incorporated, you can get a complete set of already broken toys for less money than it takes to drop them down a flight of stairs. Huh? That's right. Why go through the sadness of having all your favorite toys break when Nanny can send you a whole box of toys that are already broken? Broken toys? Well, that's ridiculous. And by ordering today, you'll also get this amazing set of plastic forks and spoons absolutely free. Free? That's right. Plus, these two vacuum cleaner bags, a complete set of unmatched luggage, and this amazing empty goldfish bowl. Wow, I love not having goldfish. Plus, if you act now, we'll throw in this very special free gift behind the curtain. Whoa! Huh? What? So, uh, how much would you expect to pay for this exciting offer? Gosh, I don't know. Ah, wait, there's more. There is? Wow! Just for calling today, we'll throw in two dozen of these. And whatever they are, isn't that amazing? Yeah, uh, amazing. Give me two. Give me six. I'll take them all. You won't regret it. What am I buying again? Huh? Uh, 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 hold on. <laughs> now back to our program. The Guiding Pig. Really? I'm a Why not? Because for every TV show, there's about a zillion commercials, right? Well, now that you mention it, so, like I said, commercial! And now Nanny and Company is proud to present the best book around. It's Buggy the Book. That's right, Bookie the Book. He comes in all colors and sizes. And don't worry if he has no pictures, Bookie has a thousand uses. You can use him to make yourself taller, or use him as a fan. You can even use Bookie to make a loud noise. And there's more. Use Bookie to make things flat. Flop. Thunderix. You can have all kinds of fun with Bookie the Book. <laughs> and when you get older and learn to read, Bookie the Book is better than ever. Bookie the Book, the toy that lasts a lifetime. Buy one today at Nanny's Garage Sale. Whoa! <laughs> Nanny's used brooms and mops. What? Just smell this. You never worry about embarrassing stinky odors again. <laughs> You're good for chewing. Say, if it's odors you're worried about, try one of Nanny's flower makers with that fresh flower scent. <laughs> Nanny's flowers are garden flowers. That's the smell of kind. Mmm, thanks a lot. Skeeter, I'm sick and tired. Of your regular everyday clothes? Huh? My clothes? I'm from Nanny's used clothes. Nanny's got it all. 
small for the very big and the very small. <laughs> Just listen to these satisfied customers. We buy all our clothes at Nanny's. Yeah, what size fits all? Even someone sort of, uh, chubby like you, Piggy. What? Ooh! I, I didn't mean chubby exactly, just pretty, pretty like plump. Just smell that aroma. Greens in a jiffy. We got poorly short, shortly poor. Oh, oh, I'm 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 the difference right away when you use Nanny's Space Age washboard on your laundry. Oh! Get me out of here! <laughs> Want to get away from it all? Yes! Take Nanny in and leave the flying to us. things just because they like your commercials. You don't? No. I want them to buy my things because they can use them. You're kidding. But gee, Nanny, we just wanted to help you with your sale. Well, I know a great way you can help me with my garage sale. Really? What is it, Nanny? How would you like to help me make a big sign that says garage sale? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Hey, little help, little help! Come on. What's the matter, Piggy? Finish my show. Gosh, Piggy, why don't you just tell us how it ends? Can I? Sure. Why not? No lesson. Okay, here goes. <gasps> I land on the ground and I'm Show, Piggy. We go to Miami. Stay tuned, because next is the great Gonzo show, starring just me, Gonzo. That's not true. First, I capture King Kong when he tries to steal Piggy's tricycle. He's making it up. And then I whistle Rambo in a swamp full of alligators and wind. Stop fibbing, Gonzo. And finally, Piggy will marry me, and we'll live happily ever after. Gonzo, none of that stuff is gonna happen. Uh-huh, yes it is. No, it isn't. Oh, yeah? Then what is gonna happen? We'll be right back with all the Muppet Babies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm telling the truth, so don't go away. 